may have got a little bit overboard on that introduction, but anyway. Last time, the wheel told me I needed to paint some incubi, and so here they are. Five incubi for my Drukari army. As you can see, I follow the same scheme that if you saw the Reavers episode, this purple, black, and gold. And overall, I'm quite happy with the results. In this video, I'm going to go through and talk about the scheme, all the color choices that I've made here. But it's going to be within the context of some things that I've learned or things that I need to improve on. There are five things here I want to talk about. Some of them are things that I've learned during this process. Some of these are things I need to continue to learn or need to improve on. If you've got any comments, then please leave them down below for any of these things that I'm going to go through. But otherwise, let's just get on with it. Contrast paints are fantastic. I really, really like contrast paints. There are some bits of this model that would have just taken me so much longer without contrast paints. And the two main bits here are the horns and the mask. Contrast paints work very well with a light undercoat. So these were sprayed with wraith bone spray. And the horns here are literally just skeleton horde. That's it. The color that I've got here with the, the light shining off the edges, plus the transition from darker to light, it's literally just one coat of skeleton horde. It's just absolutely fantastic. I knew I wanted to have some sort of blue tinge to the masks here. So Pilar Glacier is just absolutely amazing. And it just did all the work for me. I've added a little bit extra in with the eyes and the kind of line down the middle of the mask. But the majority of this kind of blue tinge is the Pilar Glacier. You can see an image here, this is a Scarab Occult Terminator Sorcerer, and the white here for the cloth is, again, it's just Gracier, Pilar Glacier, and nothing else, and it gives this lovely hue of this nice light kind of, don't know how to call it, but it's blue. Blue, I like blue. Contrast paints just save me so much time, and whilst these still took me a little while to complete, the fact that the masks and the horns here were just one quick coat of a color is, is so useful for me and I don't know what I'd do without them. I know there's probably limitations to contrast paints and yes, it is one coat and if I spent more time or care using other colors, I could have got a really nice like effect here. But to be honest, this looks nice uh, from a tabletop's perspective. So I'm very happy with it and I would just continue to use these in the future. And with that said, let's move on to the second thing. Speaking of contrast limitations, gold and metallics are one thing that obviously they don't do. There is that non-metallic metal stuff, but I'm not going to bother trying that. Just slap on some gold and hope for the best. However, I have found that whenever I've been doing gold, it comes out very dark. But I've been going through and editing this video. This part seems a bit weird because now that I've looked at these pictures again and actually looked at the models a bit more, I don't think it is too dark. The reason I thought it was too dark, I think might have just been because I only really looked good in the direct light from my lamps or other very close light when I was taking photos. But actually looking at it again, just in natural light, it actually does shine quite nicely. This is a Retributor Armor Gold, followed by a Agrax Earth Shade, and then Auric Gold, and then Liberator Gold highlights, followed by a little bit of Stormhost Silver in the tips. Some of these highlights are a little bit thick, but actually overall I am quite happy with it. I think in some of the Reaver models, it was a bit dark, and maybe I thought this was going to be dark as well, but actually giving it a bit of time, I am actually quite happy with this. There's definitely still errors here. You can see some of the wash has dried a bit weird, but overall, I am more happy with this. I think the thing I've learned here is actually be a bit more confident in my ability, because I actually do like the way this gold has turned out, and this is actually quite a nice recipe, and it's not too dark at all. I just think, you know, initial thoughts when I'd finished painting these were that I thought it might have been too dark again, but actually give it a couple of days and your models will look quite nice. So maybe that is the lesson here. It's don't take your in initial instincts. You know, you're looking at these models close up for a long period of time, many hours in some cases. You're not going to be looking at them in that way normally. You're going to be looking at them on a tabletop and tabletop wise, the gold looks fine. Speaking of edge highlighting, edge highlighting so as you can see here the main body is leviathan purple for the majority of the armor there is some black legion here for kind of this undersuit at the back i've then attempted to edge highlight i did this again with the reavers you can see on those that they're very thick lines and very thick edges and yeah I i'm happy again with the model but the edge highlighting is a little messy you can see some areas here where it's come on really thick especially some of these later colors this is definitely a care and technique thing when i was painting these definitely i was getting a little bit fatigued so slowing down a little bit it does also mean that as i was doing this and getting fatigued i was doing the clavex last which is the kind of main dude with the two swords this is the one i want to take more care on but because i was getting to him last that was where i was kind of struggling a little bit so maybe some patience here as well with the edge highlighting or maybe 
just leave it without edge highlighting for just tabletop standards. I said I wanted to come back to stuff and do it later, but when I've been doing this stuff, I've kind of wanted to do the edge highlighting. Like I do, I do enjoy the edge highlighting. It's just difficult. So maybe it's something that in the next batch of five that I'll improve on. And I think that's how I want to make sure it's done. I don't want to go back to these incubi anymore. They're done. But I've got 10 more to do. So two squads of five. Hopefully we'll see an improvement. But yeah, edge highlighting, it's tricky. Again, any advice you've got would be excellent. I think I did a little better here than the Reavers. There's a lot less thickness. There are just some extra mistakes rather than kind of having really thick lines. But it is still a bit of a struggle. So yeah, that's the third thing. Move on to number four. Number four is, again, speaking of care and patience, these little bloody engraving things are so annoying. And I tried to get in there with some blue. I think this was a Talisar blue. Again, a contrast paint. Maybe I needed to water it down more. Maybe I went too thick with it and it's kind of covered the under light color that I had. Whatever the case, it just hasn't popped out as much as I'd like. I could go back and I did on some of these models. I tried to go back with some edge highlighting using some like Fenrisian gray and one of the lighter blues, but it just didn't quite work out. And to be honest, it looks fine. I mean, I think the weapons look fine overall especially kind of the black with that edge highlight and then the gold i actually think does look okay overall i am happy with it it's again these things about the the very minute detail that's the thing that i need to get better at making sure that i can really get into these details because that's the thing that makes it pop i'm happy with the way the masks turned out a similar situation here where the eyes and the line down the middle of the mask i've done those okay some of them a little bit hit and miss but a couple of them I've, i really am happy with so it's again a case of just those annoying fiddly bits and with thousand suns there's tons of those the drukari is not as bad but yeah it's just really making sure i can take care of those it's pain because it just takes time and again time is of a of a premium realistically but just need to take that time and get better at this i returned to warhammer just over a year ago and the reason was is because i saw these incubi they just looked amazing especially compared to all the stuff you used to have as a kid in the dark elder and third edition when they just looked awful i saw these and i thought this looks really fun and the person who really got me back into warhammer was my friend steve he's a good friend of mine and he helped me with learning how to paint a little bit learning the game even though he beats the shit out of me in every game whenever i've been around to either watch him paint or learn painting from him he always licked the brush to get a fine point on it and i always made fun of him for it i always said why are you eating paint why are you drinking your paint water why are you eating the brushes what are you doing this explains so much about why you are the way you are i always made fun of him for it but then while painting these i did lick the brush and he's right it does make a really nice point on the end of the brush. I've tried the little twisty method. That does help, but actually just sticking the brush in your mouth and giving it a bit of a lick and it, it works. And it's annoying that it works because now I look like an idiot because I'm the one drinking paint and eating brushes. I mean, I'm already an idiot, so it doesn't really change much. But the point is, do you lick the brush? I mean, it's a technique that works. Is it a good idea? Does it ruin the brush? Does it ruin my health? I don't know. Well, I did it and it seemed okay. Not that ill. I don't think. That's it. Those are the five things I learned. And hopefully as I move forward with the journey going through my pile of shame, that maybe I'll take some of these lessons into account and get better. And we can see an improvement next time the ink might come up. But speaking of next time things come up, let's go back to the wheel and see what we get. Okay, well, another thing down. We're back on the wheel. Uh, there's a couple of things added here. So I took the inky buy out that I've just completed. And I've added in Leagues of Votan because I'm terrible and I bought, bought those. And I've also got another succubus in here. But... Regardless of that, let's spin the wheel and see what happens. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Really? Again? We live in an actual nightmare! 